75383 is Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator and then a lot of nostalgia with this one brings me right back to 1999 and my childhood and I'm going to do a little review of this set. Lots to like about even if it is on the pricier side for what it is and there's actually only one place to start on this particular model and it's with something completely unrelated to the set itself and it's a short video that I put out yesterday on the channel channel it's of course that 25th anniversary saw Guerrera figure a lot to like about this figure and I think they've done a really good job the printing over the shoulder pieces and the torso is really nice they've also given them a lovely little cape as well there and that brings us on really nicely to the three minifigures in this particular set. And first off, Qui-Gon Jinn. And I'm absolutely thrilled that they've brought back his kimono. And I genuinely think they've nailed this one. The printing on the legs could be um, a touch better and more integrated into that fantastic torso. But overall, I think that's a fantastic figure. You'll hear no complaints from me. Next up is young Anakin, and I think he looks great. Um, it would have been very difficult for them to get this one wrong. He's also got dual moulded headpiece as well. And finally, the man whose ship it is, Darth Maul, and a lot of controversy online about those Sith yellow eyes. I don't particularly love them. I prefer um, when you could see the pupils doesn't really spoil it for me i know a lot of people are mad about the fact that you couldn't see his pupils on this particular model and you've always been able to for me it doesn't really spoil the set in general yes i would have preferred pupils but it's not the end of the world i will probably go and grab a cloak from him from bricklink as well i would have preferred him to look a little more scene accurate and um, not to bang on about the 1999 set but uh, certainly the way we saw him in the visual Dictionary, I think that would have been a much more accurate mall. You've also got Darth Maul's speeder as well in a brownish colour as opposed to the sort of darker colour that I would have had it back in 1999. I think it looks really good and most notably it does fit inside of the Sith Infiltrator right at the back and you can also get Maul on it by um, getting him to grip the handlebars. That's the only way he's going to be able to sit on it. There's no studs on the seating area for him. But he and the speeder safely fit all in one in the back of the Sith Infiltrator, which is a really nice touch when you open it up from the sides and back. And one other contraption that allows for a bit more play is also the, I'm going to call it a trap door under the bottom of the Sith Infiltrator, which allows for the probes to be stored and then dropped. Now, this is a great play feature, of course, for kids, but if, like me, as a collector and a displayer, you want to have everything tucked away with no loose ends, then this is perfect. You just put the probes in and the job is a good one. I think this ship looks fantastic. It probably could do with being a little bit more streamlined on the top, but that is a minor sort of pick out with me. Um, I would still be giving this set overall sort of a 8.5, 9 out of 10. I think it's a really nice set. Yes, it is on the pricier side. It could potentially do with being maybe 5 or £10 pounds less in retail value. For that reason, I would say do wait until there's a sale, unless, like me, you are absolutely obsessed with this ship and it brings back loads of nostalgia and childhood memories for you then i would recommend waiting until maybe this is 20 30 percent off if you can find a good deal on it if not i still recommend grabbing this ship like i said it's a really really nice build so that is the first of the Phantom Menace sets that I got on May the 1st. Make sure you are following or subscribe to the channel on whatever platform you're watching this on, as there is a ton of new sets coming throughout the rest of the week.